It's very disorganized. It hasn't looked this bad since like high school. Usually my room is a reflection of what's going on in here. So that's that. A long time ago I promised a room tour and I never did one. I felt like I could always make my room look more organized. And then I was sitting there and I thought, why don't I do like a reverse room tour? Like where it's like messy and then I clean it and then you see it. Does that make sense? I feel like by me showing you this, we have like a deeper connection because I'm not trying to like hide and like put on a facade. This is my room. I have a messy room right now, man. I'm not afraid. I'm woman enough to admit that sometimes my room doesn't look perfect. I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my room along the way maybe I'll show you some stuff and like kind of give you a tour <laughs> it's like a backwards room tour okay baby you're gonna have to move baby because I gotta make the bed baby he hates this come here baby come here baby I know you're so comfy baby but I gotta make the bed Okay, so welcome to this section of my room. I call it the drop and go area. This is kind of like where I have my main bag and like I'm done with the day, I just kind of throw it there and I jump on my bed. So it can get kind of messy. I'm also like being very honest when I tell you guys like this is exactly how my room looked. I didn't tidy up for this. Like I literally wanted to be so transparent. Like this is what's going on in my room right now. I was about to say. Okay, so the first victim, this bag full of clean clothes. Just, I didn't know if we were going out after work the other day and I was like, I wanna make sure I have clothes. So I backed a bunch of stuff in this bag and it's been sitting in this corner cause I just was like, I'll get to it someday. But today's that day. I also have this box from Angel Skates. They sent me these really cute blue roller blades. I'm so excited to play with them. They have like little angel wings and the wheels have sparkles in them. Oh, and if you too are interested in rollerblading or want a copper pair of roller blades, definitely go through Angel Skates. They have the most most high quality rollerblades and also they got the best colors. If you want to cop a pair, go to angelscapes.com and use my code G10 to save some money. Okay, let's continue the room cleaning tour thing. I have been stalling. I don't want to clean my room. Ah! Okay, I'll clean my room. Also, I have a bunch of these like little chewy things like for dogs. I like to give them to my dogs when they're in my room. I want them to like want to stay in my room. I want to be a good hostess to them. So I keep these, but sometimes they like leave them all over my floor and my bed and stuff. So you'll definitely see these like all over my room. You want this baby? Okay, so here we are at my bedside table. This is unfiltered. I didn't move anything around. I'm actually kind of embarrassed. Am I really gonna post this? I feel like this is so intimate. Like this is my bedside table. Like there's a literal hot pocket. Yeah, I like hot pockets by the way. Hot pockets! Okay, so in here, so in here I have all my dog chewy toys, the ones that I was telling you about earlier. I have my 2021 video. <laughs> I do keep water next to my bed and it has no cap on it. No cap. <laughs> because I like to drink it through a straw because like sometimes I'll be like so thirsty in the middle of the night and I turn and I have no time to do this. Like I need the straw. I need it fast. So I don't keep the top on it. I probably should though. It's right here. Anyway, this is just a journal. If I ever have like video ideas, I'll like turn over, write them down so I don't forget. I also have the five minute journal next to my bed to remind myself to be grateful every day. If you want to practice gratitude and like have a more mindful life and start your days off to a great start, definitely invest in one of these bad boys. I got the baby pink one. It was a gift. Also on my bedside table, I have a check from the United States Treasury. No, just kidding. It wasn't that much. Okay, so this is my desk area. Nine times out of ten, I'm editing here or I'm editing straight up on my bed. Depends on my mood. If I'm feeling frisky, I'll be in my bed. If I'm feeling like I want to really get ish done and have that double screen action like this, but bam, I can do it over here. But yeah, it's pretty clean, honestly. So right next to my desk, I have this little cubby hole area and it's like three tiers. This is the first tier of my cubby hole, all my Pikachus, a picture of me and my siblings, and Kirby. <laughs> the second shelf is one of my favorite parts of my room. It's just a bunch of things that people have ever given me, sent me, made me. My holographic Pikachu. Just like a bunch of stuff that has really made me happy. This is one of my favorite parts of my room, actually. And then we got the black hole. So in here, I have a bunch of snacks because when I'm editing, I get a sweet tooth and I am 
obsessed with Swiss rolls. So I have Swiss rolls. I've been on the cheese it train, but honestly, I've eaten them so much now while I edit that they're making me sick. So if someone wants cheese it's let me know. I have like Rice Krispie treats. I got popcorn. I got chocolate. I got mini M Ms. Honestly, like whenever my siblings come here, I like to be a good hostess and I want them to stay in my room longer. So I bribe them with candy and snacks. And yeah, this is pretty much my desk area. My Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing edition that I'm obsessed with. Sometimes I just sit here and look at it because it's just so beautiful. My baby Pikachu that keeps me company when I'm editing and all that jazz. Okay, so this next section I'm about to show you gets real scary. And it's one that I'm not very proud of. And neither is my mother because I'm ruining the furniture and I, apparently it's like really expensive furniture and it's kind of damaged. <laughs> A complete and utter disaster. To be honest, I kind of like this part. I love like making my makeup look all pretty and like moving my stuff around on this table. It's very fun. So please enjoy this time lapse of me cleaning my makeup vanity. Last thing we need to do, all the clothes, and I've been dreading this moment since the start of this video. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. It's just like, I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? Like, all I want to do right now is take a bath. I'm exhausted. I just don't want to do this. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Okay. My closet. Um, I need to move all these clothes first. I have to start a load of laundry. Oh man, it's so late. I don't even know what time it is. Okay, so everything on the floor is clean. I just have to hang it up. And then all my dirty clothes are in this hamper, which I have to do laundry. I really don't want to do this. Can you finish this for me? Can you hang up all these clothes for me? I'm really not trying to do that. Okay, so this is my closet. I have two closets actually, and this one is the only one that has like poles where I can hang my clothes. I tried to get all matching hangers because I feel like these felt hangers just like treat your clothes a lot better and you have like more of a life on them. They're getting mixed in with like other people's hangers around the house and I hate it, so I have to go through all these and make them all match. If I don't want to wear something, I'll throw it up here. So look, it's like the hidden. I have to hang all those up too. I always do this. I put them all in the shelf and then I get to them later. So yeah, this is what we're dealing with. Also, I have a bunch of blankets there. It's been so hot in my room and I don't want to put like any more blankets on my bed or I'll go crazy because I wake up sweating. So I threw them all in the corner. So usually when I get to the part where I have to like hang up all my clothes and like go through my clothes part of the cleaning my room, I just kind of lay here. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. <coughs> what? <coughs> Mimo's yelling at me to clean my room. He knows when I'm like not doing what I'm supposed to do. He'll always yell at me. <gasps> okay. So I have a bunch of like drawers where I put like my hoodies, my t-shirts, my like loungy clothes. I put all my drawers and then in my closet, I hang up all of my clothes. Probably just like you. This is one of my favorite articles of clothing. It's a sweater that my father gave my mother when they were dating. Oh, Orza Italia. Hardcore Italians merch plug. Oh, look at that. Another dog, Chewy. I don't know how it's in this pile of clothes, but I'll take care of that later. Another closet cleaning hack. I put a little, like, command hook right there so you can, like, put your clothes on there and if they have buttons, you can just do it just like that. See? Now you learned something from my video. Honestly, putting this hook on here changed my life. I put it on both sides. would go so cute together. Don't be surprised if you see me in a picture or like a video wearing this shirt with my new rollerblades. <laughs> have to do is take all these like extra hangers out bring them downstairs in the laundry room but like i'm not trying to waste your time and like show you all that okay so second closet oh look at this my geo disguise this is actually not geo's hair this is another wig i don't know what i want to do with it but there might be a new character coming but yeah this is the geo kit it lives in this closet geo's hair what's up guys <laughs> so yeah that was pretty much 
my room tour slash how I clean my room. Thank you so much for coming along the journey with me. It was so painful, but it's okay. Um, I can't believe that it took me as long as it did. It's literally nighttime. I think it's almost 10 o'clock. I started at what, six? How did it take me four hours to clean my room? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. Okay, bye. <laughs>